Hello, everybody. Welcome to Prehistoric PC. Uh, here we have, as you can see, five hatcheries, and as you can see from the title, five dinosaurs. My top five favorite dinosaurs uh, here. And let's start with number five. We're going least to best. I I can't. It's in the. It's like early in the morning for me. I can't right now. Yeah, either way, we got the Apatosaurus. It's a classic dinosaur. Not much to say about it. Like, what can you say? Like, I just like the way it looks. I like the way it moves. Uh, yeah, I like the way it walks in the redwoods. I a bit about me. Uh, I like if you show me a really nice waterfall or a really nice collection of plants, I will go crazy about it. I love looking at nice landscapes. Uh. Yeah, I like the Apatosaurus, like, when it walks through the redwoods. I like how it looks like a nature documentary. It looks amazing. Uh, let's go to number five. Number four. Yeah. Uh, not many people are, like, many people are probably surprised about this. But I like the Kentrosaurus different variants, like the Pierce variant. And, like, the little variants, like a baby and, like, two adults right here. I like the way it looks. Again, I like the like. You'll see a common theme with everything here. I like the way it looks. I like the way it moves. I like the way it looks in the redwoods. That's the common theme. I could just watch this. I could just watch these for hours. And it's like sometimes uh, I'll make sanctuaries and like a herd of Kentrosaurus will appear, and I love it. I'm crazy about the Kentrosaurus. It's it's my favorite. I really like. These are the best of the best dinosaurs for me. Uh, either way, let's go to the only carnivore in this list. The Utah Raptor. Uh, oh, that was speedy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we see, like, as you can see, the Utah Raptor, it has all these feathers. And it's like, not like Pyroraptor feathers, where it's like birds. Uh, believe me, I know birds. But it's like a fuzzy... I want to say proto feathers, but not really. It's kind of like fur. Yeah, it's fur. Not really feathers. It looks nice. It has the Atrociraptor snout, which is like why I like the Atrociraptor better than the Velociraptor. It's amazing, honestly. And again, the way it looks, well, it's, it looks like it's hunting in a pack. You cannot tell me that does not look good. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Not much to say. I could just watch these for hours. The animations are really good, though. Uh, the Frontier did really go all out on these animations. I feel like as like we go deeper and deeper into the game, the animations get better and better. Uh, oh, I think it. I think it. Yeah, it's socializing. Let's let's check this out. I don't think I've seen the social animations. Oh, what? Well, now this is going up. <laughs> well, now this is going up to number two because of that. Uh, yeah, let's go to number three. This, is, yeah, uh, Sinoceratops. Wrong one. <laughs> again, not many people use this in their parks. I don't use it in my parks. I just again, for the gajillionth time. I like the way it looks. I like the way it moves in the redwoods. There was a common theme. Basically, I'm just telling you I like the redwood. Uh, yeah. The reason I'm doing two videos... Let's talk about something. Uh, wow. The reason I'm doing two videos is because... I just wanted to get something out for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Because next weekend, I'm going to be going back to Prehistoric Kingdom to do the next facility in uh, Prehistoric Kingdom Park Build. Yeah, uh, also, thank you for 100 views on the mistakes or how to make your parks better build. Not, like, I'm surprised. I thought it was just going to be, like, two views over the next month. Uh, but you guys really surprised me with this one. I'm really happy. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I'm surprised. Like, I'm still surprised by it. I never thought I'd get to 100 that fast. I've been off YouTube for a while now. I remember there was a point in time where I could have 
done any like I could have posted a video and overnight it would get 700 views. I know 100 views isn't a lot compared to like Mr. Beast and Evolution Square even. Uh, that's not supposed to be rude. Uh, I just realized how that may sound, but yeah, it's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. And thank you. Let's get to number one, the Stegosaurus. Uh, again, Stegosaurus, it first appeared in the Lost World Jurassic Park. You guys already know this because you're watching Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, it's pretty weird if you didn't. But, yeah, it looks amazing. It's a classic dinosaur. I, like, everything about it, from its place to its thagomizer to its tiny little head compared to the ratio of its body, it's amazing. It's the best dinosaur. It needs to be used in every single park. It's a staple in every park. Like, it wouldn't be a park without the T-Rex or the Triceratops or anything. Yeah, like, Stegosaurus is pretty versatile. Like, doesn't need many things. Doesn't need much food, water, like, anything. Why is it highlighting? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you see these. And it's amazing. Like, not much to say about it. You guys probably know why it's amazing. It's a pretty big favorite. Uh, besides from T-Rex and Triceratops. Uh, not, yeah. There's a lot to say on this. Like, it's been appearing in most every movie. Has it appeared in Jurassic Park 3? I don't know. But it's appeared in Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World Dominion. It's appeared in everything. I think this is one of the best top tier dinosaurs. Like, the most famous dinosaurs thanks to Jurassic Park. And in the franchise are Brachiosaurus, T-Rex, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. And Kyrosaurus, I think Frontier put it down with its really big knees and unsocial lives. But Stegosaurus is amazing. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.